Potassium is an essential nutrient required by plants for growth and reproduction, and it is derived from potash that is mined throughout the world. Canada is the world's largest producer and exporter of potash. Canada accounts for about 38% of the world's total potash production. Global potash production was estimated at 64.6 million tons in 2022. Nutrient Ag Solutions has a number of mines in Saskatchewan and is the world's largest potash producer. The company first mined and shipped potash in 1959. Follow the journey at Nutrient's Allen Mine near Saskatoon as we travel one kilometer below the surface to see the extraction of the potash. From the time it is mined, the finished product can be ready for delivery to fields within six hours. The potash deposit itself is pretty well, in, in terms of the map of Canada, it's pretty much all of southern Saskatchewan is a potash deposit. Uh, and it deposited 360 to 380 million years ago. And it was an ancient, you know, salty sea, like the like we think of the, the, the Dead Sea today, um, that that was the, what it looked like then. And where it was located when it was deposited, that plate tectonics modeling has uh, shown us that it was likely roughly where Peru is today, is where we where this was when it was deposited, and then it has shifted up and since obviously then became Saskatchewan, um, and that it's gone through periods of being you know inland and, and coastal, and then you know more ocean lying. So then above the potash deposit, which is a very large deposit, you know can can range from 150 meters. We have um, all these different layers of just limestone, shale, sandstone going all the way up. So that's what our shafts, you know, have to work through to get to this potash deposit. That's a kilometer or three, 3,300 feet uh, below surface to get to that potash layer. And here at Allen, we mine the top layer of it, but there's still a wealth of, of more potash beneath us. So. Um, originally, how we would get potassium in Canada, and I'm sure the states probably did the same practice, is uh, we would collect uh, forests and, and burn down that wood and collect the ashes and then evaporate out that potassium. And that's what we used as fertilizer before we found this rock and this, this deposit here in Saskatchewan. Um, so then when they, when they found the rock, they gave it honor to that and they, they named it potash um, to attribute to, to how we used to do to get potassium. What we want out of it is the sylvite mineral and that makes up about a third of the rock and then the remainder, the big portion of it is halite, um, so just like table salt. Uh, that's about 60 to 70 percent of the rock and then clay is about 5 to 10 percent and, and underground the clay seams are, are very important to us and that's what we are guided by when we're underground is, is staying online with those clay seams. Here at Allen we've been in operation for 56 years. We currently have the capacity to produce 3 million tons of potash per year. Uh, the process, there's a, a lot of moving parts. So from uh, being a kilometer down, mining the ore, shipping the ore to surface via 56 ton skips and then crushing and slurrying the ore so that we can separate the clay through the desliming process and then crushing further and running that, the, the remaining ore through uh, flotation so that we can separate the salt crystals from the potash crystals. And then once we do that separation, we, we dry and size the potash crystals and, and uh, store our, our final product in storage and ship it out by rail.